So today I'll be showing you how to make pink lemonade. Pink lemonade is my best selling glass and this glass is strawberry lemonade scented. I'll only be using that small bowl because I'm not going to be making a lot today. So I have my lip gloss base from TKB Trading and this is a polybutane. It makes the lip gloss feel more moisturizing. And I ran out of this one ingredient called hydrogenated polyisobutene so I'm using Flexigel instead. And I'm going to be using a flavoring oil from Get Suckered and Squalane just because some people are allergic to coconut oil. And of course I have my preservative and lip gloss tubes. So when making a lip gloss, all of the ingredients besides the lip gloss base are pretty much optional. Um, you can substitute them, you can use any kind of oils that you want. And you don't even have to use the ingredients that I'm using over here. So right now I'm adding the polybutene and this is really really thick and sticky. And this is what makes the lip gloss really really moisturizing. And right now I'm adding the Flexigel. The Flexigel is just a pre-made lip gloss base. And I'm just using this because this has everything in it already and it makes the lips really shiny. And now I'm just going to add the oils and preservative. So it's really important to use a preservative, especially if you're going to be selling the products. And when you're using preservative, you do not want to use too much because it will make the lips really numb and has this really tingly, uncomfortable feeling. Because I did that when I first made my first lip gloss and it was not a good feeling. I have to throw out that whole batch and make a new one. So right now I'm going to start mixing. As you can see, the base is really, really thick. So I'm going to have to add some more oils just to kind of make it a little thinner. So now it's time to add the coloring. I'm using this color called Slideshow Pink from TKB Trading. And the reason why I'm using the little dropper, it's because I don't like this lip gloss to be really, really dark pink. I want to keep it really light. But if I need to add more, I'm just going to add it as I go. And now I'm just going to start mixing. I know that a lot of people like to mix their color and their oils together first and then pour it into the base. But since I'm making a really small batch, that's not really necessary. But if you were making a big batch, then that's what you would want to do because that would just be a lot easier and the color would blend out a lot more evenly. So, And as you can see, I'm just adding more color because this color is a bit light for me. And the thing is, when you put a lip gloss in a tube, especially in those glass tubes, they always appear lighter in the tube than they actually are. So that's why I wanted just more pink, but I still want it to be light pink. I don't want it to be like hot pink. And the consistency, it's a bit thick, but that's not really a problem because I still didn't put the flavoring oils yet. When I put the oils, it's going to be a lot thinner. So now it's time to add the flavoring oil. This glass is strawberry lemonade scented. So when I'm making this glass, I use two different oils. I use a strawberry oil from TKB Trading and I also use a lemon oil and these oils are so nice they smell so good and they're really really strong my customers love this and this smells just like strawberry lemonade so after adding the flavoring oils you can see that the consistency does get a lot thinner but it's not too runny and this is the perfect consistency for me because it's not too sticky but it's still really hydrating so now that we have the perfect color and the perfect consistency, it's time to fill the lip gloss tubes. So here I have my syringe and my pipette and I'm just going to use this to suck the lip gloss in. If you want, you can take it apart and pour the lip gloss inside, but I'm just not going to be doing that for this video because it does get a little messy.
and now it's time to fill up the tubes. So when you're filling wand tubes, you want to make sure that you don't fill them all the way up to the top and that you're leaving some space for the applicator. Because if you fill it all the way to the top, the stopper will keep on coming out when you try to close it and it'll just create a lot of mess. And now we're all done. This is how it looks. And this glass is so cute and smells amazing. Pink Lemonade will be available on the website. This glass is super cute and is one of the best selling glasses on the site. And I'm just gonna do a quick swatch. And as you can see, it's really clear and feels really moisturizing on the lips. And here's the entire summer collection also available on the website. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And you can also check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. Or visit my website, bintybeauty.com. And I will see you in the next video.